Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane and I'm a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this channel I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what this is, and that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's why you're here, and that's what it's all about. I don't know that, why that's the version I went with, but whatever. Yes, I react to comedy music from the perspective of somebody who does it themselves. I do comedy music and have done for about 15 years now uh, as this version of Insanian. If this is your first time joining us, what that means to you is that I'm going to pause the video, kind of a lot actually, so that I don't talk over the jokes in the songs, they are comedy songs after all, but also so that I can discuss the video, sometimes how the joke works with the video, how the two interact and help amplify each other or not, or sometimes it's even uh, dissecting the jokes, explaining jokes, Everybody seems to love that when I do it. Or sometimes it means I'm just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If you do like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and videos early, and all sorts of other cool perks like that at patreon.com slash insaneian. But anyway, all of that out of the way... Let's find out what we're doing today. First, we've got It's Too Bloody Hot by Thomas Benjamin Wilde Esquire, featuring Thomas Carradine. And then after that, it's I'm a Mom by my friend Jessica Delfino. Uh, so yes, two videos today, because they're kind of semi-short songs, about two and a half, two minutes each, uh, which, knowing me and how much I ramble, could mean this is like a 20-minute video. I don't know. It's two o'clock in the morning when I'm recording this, because... Time is a myth with my day-to-day -day anymore. Uh, also, uh, if you're seeing this on the day it's released, Friday, uh, the 28th of July, tomorrow, Saturday, July 29th, I'm doing a live stream. Uh, I'm doing a live Q&A and maybe a bunch of other things as well, depending on how we feel and what's going on and how the Q&A goes. Uh, on live stream July 29th at 12 noon Central Standard Time because I live in Illinois uh, as to celebrate hitting 20,000 subscribers thank you all for subscribing if you have uh, and if you haven't please please do that that'd be nice I'd appreciate it uh, you know but don't don't feel obligated but but please subscribe the life of a YouTuber is weird. Anyway, uh, let's dive in to the first video, It's Too Bloody Hot, by Thomas Benjamin Wilde Esquire, featuring Tom Carradine. Uh, this one, I think I've heard a live version of it before, or at least a snippet of it, uh, but this is the official music video, just came out recently. Let's check it out. It's Mr. Sandman? All right. Sun, sun, beating down all day. It's just no fun, wasting away all the hours inside. As we attempt to hide from the brutal burning weather that has headed our way. Stick the fan on. Uh, hashtag relatable. Uh, yeah, it's about uh, 90 degrees here in Illinois right now. Uh, it's, it's, it's too bloody hot. Yes, absolutely. It's too hot everywhere because climate change is real. Um, also, uh, love that the, <laughs> it's like a banjo ukulele. That is killer. And also the, the, the swimming outfit. Perfect. Excellent stuff. Uh, dig, I mean, Thomas Benjamin Weil certainly has this, uh, kind of, I don't want to say old timey. Uh, feel to it, but I mean it, that's an accurate term. Uh, there's something kind of old and familiar about the style of music that he does, uh, usually with the ukulele. But having it be a ukulele banjo is really, really interesting. And it's got a good sound, and of course, Tom Carradine is doing the keys here. So uh, digging this again. Uh, thing something about Tom. Uh, Wild's music 
is uh, it, it doesn't hit you in the face over and over and over again with a lot of jokes rapid fire like a lot of the artists that we hear on here uh, on this channel. Sometimes it's a slow burn and sometimes I appreciate the slow burn. There's a lot of artists that I've mentioned before that do that. They kind of start out, it sounds like a, like a non-comedy song and then it hits you with the comedy right around the chorus. Uh, so uh, kind of getting that vibe from that here. Brutal burning weather that has headed our way Stick the fan on and keep the curtains closed It seems strange when people say That despite the dire warnings on the forecast every morning These temperatures are normal and okay <laughs> Because it's too bloody hot It's too bloody hot like this now for three days on the trot <laughs> I appreciate the summer but I'll tell you what it's too bloody hot I, I, I dig it so much it's it's it there's there's almost a Tom Lehrer vibe with uh, Tom's delivery and style of music and and just the way he punctuates the jokes into the song lyrics um, and also I know that uh, Tom Wilde is a big fan of Tom Lehrer. Uh, he covered Poisoning Pigeons in the Park, as did I recently. Uh, Tom Lehrer put his music in the public domain recently, uh, and uh, so that means anybody can cover it, because it's in the public domain now, as per him. Uh, and so I covered Poisoning Pigeons in the Park a couple months ago. You can check it out on the card there. Uh, anyway. Uh, but yeah, no, getting a getting a very especially in like the the song composition, I'm getting a big Tom Lehrer vibe from this. And uh, three days on the trot, I I love uh, British uh, idioms and and uh, turns of phrase and stuff like that. And when put into song, it just it, it makes me happy. I love that kind of thing. Tell you what, it's too bloody hot. It's too bloody hot. It's too bloody hot. Removing clothes and sitting still is helping not a jot. <laughs> Again, helping not a jot. Just, just using British, not really slang, but just colloquialisms to help rhyme with hot. It's great. It's great. Say go out, enjoy it, but I think not because it's too <laughs> bloody hot. My pale and pasty form was not designed for this heat. Mine neither. I've already done a song about summer, about how much I hate summer, called Summertime Jam. Again, shameless plugging. Why am I shameless plugging my own stuff during this one? I don't know. It's late at night and I'm recording this and mm, fury of the brain. Whatever. Eh. But yes, I, I relate to being pale and pasty. Not a British pale and pasty, I just, I'm always pale and pasty. It's just kind of what I am. I'm an indoor nerd. I know most humans are solar powered, but I'm an indoor nerd. I play a lot of video games and read a lot of comic books. Don't go outside very often, because when I do, this pale white visage turns into lobster red. It's not a, there's no middle ground. I don't tan. It's just either I'm a sheet of paper or I'm a lobster red man. It, nah, no middle ground. So, again, hashtag relatable. Go. But my pale and pasty form was not designed for this heat And I know that it does no good to complain So I guess I'll have to sit back and admit defeat Hunker down at home and pray that there'll be rain it's too bloody hot, even in the sanctuary of that nice shady spot. <laughs> Such great little rhymes in this, in, in once we got past the, the intro part. Uh, not saying that the intro part didn't have good rhymes, but I love, we know it's coming up to it's too bloody hot, so all the rhymes hitting with hot are, are great, and they just hit my ears right. So if you have ideas for cooling down, I'll give them a shot, because it's too bloody It's too bloody hot. It's too Ooh, nice little harmonies. It has been like this now for three days on the trot. I appreciate the summer, but I'll tell you what. It's too 
bloody hot. It's too bloody hot. It's too bloody hot. Removing clothes and sitting still is hardly not a job. And I'll, I'll say this, that's the, the difference between, uh, like, winter and summer, to me, anyway. I, am, I love the cold, my wife loves the heat. Um, she's more of a summer person than a winter person. To me, I, you know, you can only put on, you can, you can only take off so many layers in the heat before you're, you know, violating a law and, uh, you know, still warm. Uh, in in the cold, you can put as many layers as you want on. You can technically put an infinite number of layers on, and that will keep you not cold. Uh, she doesn't see it that way. You know, not to get too personal or anything, but I have a thyroid problem, so I'm always sweating. So, yeah, that's another good mark for the bespeckled nerd. Always damp and moist, sweaty human boy. Things are weird. People say go out and enjoy it, but I think not because it's too bloody hot. My pale and pasty form was not designed for this heat. So the second verse is just the whole first half sped up. Right on. I mean, stretch out the length of your song by repeating the thing you just did. It's a technique. Many people use it. I like it. Uh... Personally, as a as a comedy songwriter myself, I would take that opportunity to put in new things, put in put in new jokes. But there is nothing wrong with doing the repetition, but sped up. There is it's a musical trait that is oft repeated in many songs. I will say this is something I pointed out with Thomas Benjamin's videos before. Most of his music videos are just performance videos. They are just him, and sometimes a featured artist just performing the song, the camera just moving about, all in one take, not really much or any cutting or gags put in to help amplify the lyrics gags. So there's no visuals to go along to correlate to the, the, uh, the visuals. Uh, there's no <laughs> visuals to correlate with the lyrics, I should say. Uh, so, uh, not that that is a bad thing. Again, performance is impressive, and, uh, it's a great song. Uh, sometimes something I look for in comedy music videos, though, especially for reactions, is how well, uh, the, the visual gags help lift up the gags of the lyrics, in, uh, you know, because comedy songs, the gags and the lyrics are the important bit, and the visual element of that video, uh being a promotional tool usually, as it has been for decades since, you know, music videos were a thing, um, is another area where you can push even more jokes it's, as long as they don't detract from the lyrics themselves. That's where the, that's the, the sweet spot in making a comedy music video. Um, uh, and this, in this format, is just a vessel for just the song. And that's okay. Again, I have no issues with that. It's just not a thing that I look for usually in videos. And I have a feeling the next video that we're going to tackle is kind of the same. It's going to be one performance, kind of a single shot kind of thing. That has its merits. Again, um, this is very entertaining still. So. And I know that it does no good to complain So I guess I'll have to sit back and admit to defeat Hunker down It's too bloody hot, even in the sanctuary of that nice shady spot. And I will say it's also not just sped up a little bit in this verse, and it's I, maybe I'm just imagining that it's sped up, it might actually not be, but uh, I also appreciate that Tom Carradine is singing some excellent harmonies on the second run-through of the lyrics there. It's very good. So if you have ideas for cooling down, I'll give them a shot, because it's too bloody hot. Really crisp. That that last sustain there, really crisp, really, really nice sounding. Really dug that. Okay. With Tom Carradine, it's too bloody hot. Filmed at the Green Duck Emporium, Turnbridge Wells, UK, 2023. Uh, yeah. No, that was that was excellent. Uh, really, really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed the, the uh, barbershop quartet-esque hats 
Uh, <laughs> I don't really know what those kind of hats are called, but I always see people in barbershop quartets wearing them. Uh, obviously, they're only a duo. Uh, there's a band, there's a comedy band called Worm Quartet. It's just one guy. Yeah, you know, names are whatever. Um, but no, I really enjoyed that. Uh, so that was, a, that was a really cool video. And this next video coming up is from my friend Jessica Delfino. Uh, Jessica is a amazing uh, comedy music performer, has been doing it for a very, very long time, and has also been the person who ran uh, or helped run the uh, New York's Funny Songs Fest, uh, which was a comedy music festival, obviously in New York, uh, and, uh, and I, that was an offshoot in Philly years later. Um, but uh, it was a, basically it's a, a festival uh, throughout a whole weekend at different venues throughout New York of just comedy musicians from the New York or adjacent areas. Uh, this was back when I was living on the East Coast. I was living in Maryland, that's where I'm from, and uh, so I got invited to perform there. Uh, my friend Devo Spice from The Fump is from New Jersey, so he was one who let me know about it, uh, and I asked Jessica about it and got to perform at New York Funny Songs Fest a couple of years in a row, which was very cool. Um, it's not an event that's going on currently, but it always could come back at some point, I'm sure. Um, but it was definitely one of the really cool events in New York for comedy music uh, that I haven't seen its like in a while. Uh, and Jessica was one of the people who uh, ran that, also runs a good Facebook group for comedy musicians as well, uh, is also a mother and has been writing blogs and such about that, and let's work the two things together, motherhood and comedy music, into a song, I'm a Mom, by Jessica Delfino, is coming up now. I wake up every morning at 5.08 because that's when my kid does, aren't children great? <laughs> I start my day off exhausted. Only 16 more hours till I can go back to bed. 16 more hours till I can... Not as a diminishing term for uh, anybody who's a parent. <clears throat> um, excuse me. Realized I had something caught in my throat. Uh, there's a jump here because I realized I got a little too personal about my own life. But suffice it to say, uh, I'm childless and probably going to be childless. No, not probably. Definitely am going to be childless for the rest of my days. It's a choice. It's a choice we've made. Uh, and so these kind of things that are, are happening here in this intro and in this song are exactly why <laughs> I have chosen to be childless. Not to disparage anybody who has children, because children are great, and otherwise, if you don't have them, the, there's no more people on the world. But, you know, yeah, people have their reasoning for things. My routine is boring. My face is tired. My body hurts. I'm not feeling inspired. But somehow every day in some miraculous way I reach inside myself to find strength. And I say I'm a mom. <laughs> and damn it, I can do it. I'm a mom. It's an empowering anthem. Uh, I, I, you know, I, was, I was wrong when I said it in the previous video that it was going to be one single shot. There's been a little bit of cutting. It has been one static shot of Jessica Shore, but it did cut to her face. It did pull back to show the other musicians involved in the song, which I was not expecting because the thumbnail is just Jessica with her guitar. Um, admittedly, she hasn't even started playing that guitar yet. So, I mean, I know she can. I, I've heard her stuff before. But yeah, this is, uh, this is a, a unique style of video here. I'm digging it. Come on, this really Wow. Well, okay. Uh, that little break... Here's the thing I've said in, in videos before. One of the... It, I don't call... It's not a crutch, but it's a good style of writing for comedy songs is the list of tasks, the list of things you're doing. Um, it, it, some rattling off in rapid fire a list of a laundry list of all these different things that you're doing depending on the subject of the song is a good way to fit in so much comedy into a span of whatever you've composed or if it's a parody whatever the uh, the original composer has done that you're fitting lyrics into um, and and the list is just it's a good songwriting device 
to showcase how much stuff that subject is about. You know, so like being a mom. Here's all the shit you have to do as being a mom. And it's just it's just a, 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 a useful way of delivering all those ideas in musical comedy format. Let's take it back a little bit and hear this breakdown. I love the uh, the stock photo shots that pop up around her during that. Yeah, fast talking is is definitely true there. Let's the, the list starts and fast talking's like fourth in it. Gig shuffling as a performer and a mother makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so the motherhood concert truth set to music. That's the subtitle of uh, this song, or at least the parenthetical that is in the title. I'm a mom, Jessica Delfino. Parentheses, the motherhood concert truth set to music. Obviously, you know, there is comedy in everyday life. The truth of being a mother, obviously being set to music here in the song called I'm a Mom. Gee, how did I figure that one out? Um, but yes, uh, it, it, truth and comedy and comedy and truth. It's, fu uh, I, it's funny because it's true is a statement because obviously it's something that happens to people. It's funny because it's true. I laugh at it because I recognize it and I realize it in myself or as a someone else as a parent, obviously. I'm not speaking personally. But, uh, yes. Uh, you gotta love writing from stuff you know. That's that's what they always say. Write what you know. That's why a lot of my songs are very storyteller stuff of stuff that has literally happened to me. Uh, delivery boy because I am a delivery boy. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> In places other days are a blur most days i love my child but now and then i'm not sure because <laughs> no one told me this but children they have free will he's got plans that i'm not part of it's a test of my skill this is almost almost rap like in its delivery especially in the verses like there is there is certain melody in the chorus especially in the rapid fire list of things there's a certain melody that she's singing with it but the verses themselves before that, what would seem like that list kind of thing is almost a chorus. Uh, there's certain there's a certain patter to this that seems very rap-like, and it's not like a traditional rap song, but very rap-like in its execution. My brain feels like mush. My patience is thin. I haven't showered in three days, and there's a film on my skin. But somehow every day, most incredibly, I have a talk with myself. Then I say. <laughs> so yeah, uh, again, it's it's just this is what it's like day in the life of a mom. It's great. So get yourself together, I'm a mom. And it's like a pep talk to herself or to any mother. That's great. I, I, I like that, that one little breakdown. It was uh, Instagram and Facebook posting and then burn toasting. That's, that's great. I'm a 508 AM wake and tired as a goodness sake in Instagram and Facebook posting. Craft making, burn toasting. Craft making, burn toasting. Yeah, I dig that. That's great. <laughs> Picking up and dropping off in sits and season, aching, coughing, boogie, wiping, diaper changes, schedule set and rearranging. Mom, around it goes. Wow. Tie and toy wipe and tear dry. Here's here's the 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 impressive thing about this. Obviously, we're getting real mothers coming in here. Uh, this is a motherhood concert, clearly, because there's all the mothers singing about motherhood. Um, here's something that that I'm really digging. The reason I stopped this uh, uh, to begin with is every list breakdown is a new list entirely. It's Again, this is kind of what I was talking about with the last song. More opportunities to fit in more jokes, to fit in more things 
to expand the lyrics of your song. Uh, again, there is merit to having it your second verse be re your your second half of the song be just a repeating of the first half of the song, but uh, I think any opportunity to fill in more lyrics to keep it more interesting for the listener is a good opportunity, and that's exactly what they're doing here, uh, which is why I dig it. Explaining jokes and song construction, that's what I do. Self-hugging should be one of them uh, with that ending. Bravo, Jessica, that's great. Uh, really, really dug that one. Uh, hopefully you all did too. If you did, of course, links to the original songs without me talking all over them are in the description. And of course, if you liked what I did here, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon like these lovely people over here do. They get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, their names in the credits, and all sorts of other cool things like that there. Anyway, We'll see you next time, everybody. Thanks. Bye. This is a summertime jam for all you summertime fans. That's not exactly what I am. Oh, 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 oh. This is a summertime jam for all the summertime fans, of which I don't understand. Oh, 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 oh.